Hi guys, it's Anneli from Sweden. Today we are going to show you a tutorial on how you can do some uh, watercolor dragonflies. And uh, it's going to be a voiceover because I didn't have the opportunity to have the sound on. Here you can see you do a uh, lion cross and uh, that will be your template for the dragonfly. So it looks like this and uh, in the middle where the cross is uh, meeting is where the body of the dragonfly will be. On top of that uh, the head and then a couple of eyes and some antenna and then you're going to do the first uh, pair of uh, the dragonfly wings and you do them uh, so that you have the line in the middle of the wing. Then you do the same on the second layer of wings put them so that you get the wing in uh, the line in the middle and the wing around. And if you have want to have the wings in some other way, just uh, do your cross further apart or further uh, together. The body is uh, like uh, long ovals that you put together as a chain and uh, then uh, in the back a couple of stings. So, uh, so easy is it to do a drawing of a dragonfly. Then you do the same on your watercolor paper. If you feel that you need to do the cross, do this with a light pencil and uh, use it as a template and do it the same way as you did on the paper. Then you all can do the dragonfly easy and uh, you get the wings on the same place on both sides. Looks like that. Okay, I have uh, done the five points on uh, my uh, paper of uh, 300 grams watercolor paper. So now I'm doing a uh, very thin lines with the cross so uh, that we can uh, do the wings similar on both sides and then we can erase the line with the pencil. We are going to go in with some ink pen later on. So uh, this is just guidelines for how we are going to make our dragonfly. I'm doing these a little smaller than the other one as the dragonflies is going to be decoration in my journal and they need to be a little smaller to fit on the pockets that I'm going to use. And as you see, I'm following the lines, putting down my wings, and then I continue with the body. Just like the little sketch I did on the paper before I start working on my paper. Don't be too uh, neat about how you do this sketch and uh, play with color and have fun. It's the most important thing. We all need to see that it's uh, handmade, not printed. So just have fun and uh, play. I'm just sketching a little with my pen so uh, I get it the way I want to. Then I'm taking my ink pen and this one is a 005, so it's very thin lines. Oh, 
and doing my ovals or some uh, long row of sausages. <laughs> I'm going to do a close up uh, for you later so you can see how it looks. That's just the oval, ovals put together so it uh, creates a chain of ovals that will be the body. And here you can choose to do just uh, a few lines with your ink pen or uh, outline it fully. That's uh, your choice how you want it to be in the end. You can also do some sketch lines and just uh, do it a little sloppy and uh, make it a little more loose. Now I'm going in with my eraser and uh, taking my pencil lines away. So just the ink lines will uh, be left. And as they are water safe, waterproof, they won't uh, give any color when you put uh, the watercolor on. Be sure to take away all the Eraser, erase things that uh, it's on the paper so uh, it won't get in your color later on. Now I'm just filling in with my ink pen uh, where I think it needs a little more sketch lines and I have erased the pencil lines. I hope this will work for you even if I do a voice over. I have a little problem at the moment uh, as I had um, a little problem with uh, concentration. So I have a problem to work and uh, talk at the same time. So that's uh, my problem at the moment. I'm a little stressed out and I had to work with my full concentration but I hope this will uh, work anyway so and if you have any questions later on just uh, put them in the description and uh, I will uh, answer. Then I'm taking my watercolors and uh, this time I'm using uh, indigo, I'm using some Prus Pr Prus Prussian, Prussian blue, uh, some uh, paints grey and uh, later on when we're doing the other one I'm also doing uh, some color with Van, Van Dyke brown. And it Windsor is Windsor Newton color I use. First I'm going in with some water. So uh, I'm following the lines on the wings with uh, water. And uh, then I'm going in with my color and let it uh, blend. And when you work with watercolor it's uh, nice if you can leave some white from the paper peeking through that gives it a little more professional look so as you can see i have a few white spots left and i'm trying to leave them for later now I'm going in with a uh, damp clean brush and taking away some of the color, lighten it up, that makes it uh, looks more transparent. And I think that's better than leaving uh, it totally white. This way it looks more transparent when you're just uh, removing 
the middle of the wings and leaving the outline a little darker. Then I'm just playing, uh, putting in and taking out color where I uh, think I want it. And you don't need to have one color, you can uh, play with several colors. On this I'm going to use blue and I think I'm going to have a little purple, as you see here, and also a little green will go into this. And then a lot of water. And I'm just uh, playing with the colors. I'm not so neat about the lines because I'm going to do some background later on with color anyway. So just feel like uh, playing and do it loose. Splash on the color and have fun. I'm doing the body with black or uh, paints gray, mostly paints gray and uh, that don't give it this uh, very harsh color. It's a little more uh, soft. <coughs> so I'm going around with uh, some clear water. I have some blue in my in my brush but that's um, that doesn't matter, I'm going to put blue around it anyway, so. But if you want some other color, be sure to make a, take a clean brush and clean water and put around so that the color then can spread. Uh, in some places I'm going with my pencil and touching the wings on the dragonfly. That way the color will flow out and make it uh, look a bit uh, loose and freely painted. That's the way I like it. But if you want it uh, very neat, just leave a little, little white space between the background and the dragonfly. Here I'm going in with uh, dubs of a uh, little more color. You can also take a spritzer little bottle with the water and uh, make it even more wet if you want it to float around a little bit more. Just dabbing in some more of the paint spray. Now I take my spritzer and give it a little more water moist it a bit so the color can be soft and uh, spread out around my dragonfly. Going in with some green, give it a little more colorful look. Tilting it a bit so the water can run around. Some more spritzing, more water. Let it run freely on the paper. Sorry, I'm a bit out of camera here. taking a little bit away with uh, a damp clean brush so I won't get these hard lines. Give it a little more soft feeling. But as you can see it's uh, nothing hard at all. No uh, rocket science, just to play and have fun and everyone can do this. If you don't have watercolor, you can use uh, Distress Ink, that also is water soluble. 
and um, play with that instead you can just uh, if you have the re-inkers you can just put some in the water and play with it then you don't have to go and buy special watercolors most of us us that uh, works with with journals have this uh, distress inks from ranger and uh, just dab your pencil onto the ink and uh, use water and play now it's uh, dried i've used my dry tool and uh, now i'm feeling as long as it's warm it's uh, okay then you can put another layer or do some other decoration going in with my ink pen and uh, do the lines a little more clear and um, outline the body a little more but this is also your choice if you want it to be a little more loose and um, think that it looks good you don't have to do this you can just leave it as it is and if you use your ink pen be sure that your um, painting is dry if you go in too soon when the paint is not totally dry you will ruin your ink pen because you need it to be be sure that it's totally dry before you go in with your pen the ink pen does not like wet surfaces it will uh, stop working and you will ruin it so it's better to wait a little longer than to go in too soon like that a little bit more of the uh, paint spray on the body and uh, going uh, with the color on one side at this moment so uh, it is a little more shadow on one side makes it more looks more um, 3D to give it some more shades. You can also do shades around the wings if you like. I'm not doing this uh, that at this time. But I'm giving it a little more color in with the body so it um, will give the illusion of uh, movement. And this uh, 3D feelings of the wings. And I will loosen this up with uh, some more water. So we don't get harsh lines where this color is ending. Bleeding it into, blending and bleeding it into the other color. So we just have dark near the body and then soften it out on the wings. If you want to do another layer as I do here, it's also better to do, do it when the color has dried. And if you want to have a second layer that it loose, 
just give it uh, another coat of uh, clear water first and then you can go in with the second layer and do some more inking as the ink always dries a lot lighter than you put it on you can always put in a, a darker color than you think because it's uh, a lot lighter when the color has uh, dried so don't be afraid to put in a, a bit darker color when you are painting watercolors close up where you can see a bit more of the different colors I have put in okay let's go for another one and this time we're going for uh, just working with uh, two colors so we're going with for paints gray and uh, Van Dyke brown Starting with the cross and doing this uh, this one a little bit more compact, so the wings will be a little more together. Starting out with the body. Same way with the oval rings, ovals maybe you can say, maybe you can't say oval rings. And then we're going for the wing. And uh, as you can see here, they are going to overlap a bit more than the other ones. There are so many different kinds of uh, dragonflies, different color, different shapes. So um, just do them as you find most fun and most beautiful. Don't uh, think so much about the colors. You can do fantasy dragonflies with uh, different colors on the wings if you like. Go with the colors you like. I'm a blue brownish girl so I think natural colors is uh, very beautiful. But then a uh, dragonfly with this uh, almost uh, rainbowish wings is uh, also very beautiful here I'm outlining the wings and I'm uh, using my ink to do them a little bit more rounded and um, changing the way there where they go together a bit some dragonflies have uh, long wings on the first pair of wings and then they have a uh, lot shorter ones on the second so that's also a, also a choice and if you like you can uh, just uh, google up a picture and uh, have as a template it's always nice to have a picture to look at when you are coloring i can uh, have a difficult time to just uh, 
do my painting from my imagination. So I often have a picture of some sort when I'm painting. So I can just give it a little look on the side and see if I'm on the right way in my painting. Okay, time to do some coloring. Going uh, with my brush and uh, going in with clean water first. So the color will be loose. There's nothing you need to do. You can go in with uh, your color right away if you like. But I think it's easier to get an even coat of uh, color when I wet it first. So you don't get uh, harsh lines on the wings. Dabbing in some uh, brown color and just uh, dragging it out on the wings. Trying to leave uh, some more white on this one. How much water you should use is uh, also uh, something you need to try out. So uh, don't use too much water. That will make your, uh, your color move too much. It's better to do less water on your brush and then maybe go in with your spritzer if you feel that it's a bit too dry or if it dries too fast. If you have uh, too much water on your brush, it can flow away and you have the color everywhere. Going in with a smaller brush and uh, painting the body, the head and the stings. As you have the ink to follow here, it's uh, easy to just fill in the color. Don't have to think so much about where you put the color. You have already, already the lines to just follow. So please try to do this. It's uh, so fun to do these uh, paintings by yourself and put them in your journals. And as you will see later on, you can do them uh, very fun with adding some other details onto the pockets. It's also beautiful with uh, lace and some textile. You can um, cut out your dragonflies So you just put uh, the dragonfly onto something else or as I'm going to do, use a big piece of the paper. Going in and uh, taking some of the water away so that we have partly damp paper and partly real wet so that 
the watercolor will move differently. Just putting in small dots with the darker color. have a bit uh, shiny from the lamp on the dragonfly but uh, you will see a close-up on this also later. Doing some more spritzing with uh, water and then I'm going in with some splatter as a little decoration background. And I'm going in with uh, both brown, grey and uh, also some white later on. And then I'm using white gouache because white watercolour won't uh, be seen on the paper. It will uh, blend in with the colours and just uh, make them a bit lighter. So you need to have... Uh, acrylic or uh, gouache if you are going to use white splatters. Just moving the paint around so we get a little decorative background. And as it's partly wet and partly dry it uh, looks a little different. Here I'm also going in and just give a little dab on the wings so uh, the color will flow out into the background. Give it a little loose and special feeling. I hope this uh, tutorial will uh, help you and uh, get you curious about trying it. As you can see when it's so easy to do, everyone can do this. And it's uh, perfect to start with this easy motives and uh, get some uh, practice with some easy paintings tilting the border a bit so it moves around And I have uh, dried this, so everything is dried and here you can see where it has bleed out and giving these beautiful edges on the wings. And now I'm going in with the ink pen again and just uh, making some of the lines a bit bit more standing out. I really like this uh, way of doing it so some of the dragonfly are very loose but still you have this uh, clear lines of where it uh, starts and where it ends. That's uh, a very good way to start with watercolor. You can also do some uh, lines on the wings. That gives it a little more uh, feeling of uh, movement and 3D. I'm 
and the shape of them a little more not so flat something like that Doing this a little more sketchy, not uh, just one straight line. I'm just sketching around it so it more uh, some more loose feeling. So now we're getting the white and. Uh, Just uh, tap on my brush and uh, splash the white gouache onto the watercolor picture. And I even decide to do some more on the blue one, so it will also get some of these white ones and also some blue. Splatter is uh, always nice. Somehow it uh, makes the picture stand out. And then my taking my heating tool and uh, dry it again. So we be sure that everything is dried. Like that. Then I'm going to cut these and make them a little smaller. Uh, first I go in with my scissors, but then I uh, decide to go and do it in my cutting machine, so we get straight lines. So uh, I'm going to stop the video and uh, the recording and go to my cutting tool, so I'm sure that it will be straight. There we are, going in with my scissors and taking the corners off so it gets, gives the feeling of a little more soft edge. Some Distress Ink, Vintage Photo on the edges. Just taking off the sharp edge gives it a more professional look and a little bit of color on the edges. And to give uh, the pockets a little more uh, substance I have decided to use some uh, labels. It differs uh, digitals and uh, one of the backgrounds is one of my eco dyed papers, that one. And then it's different uh, Tracy Fox labels and also another set of digitals that I'm not remembering at the moment where I got. 
if you go on Etsy and search for labels, you get uh, kits of very, very much of a different kind of labels that you can use. But you can also take uh, pieces of old books or uh, something uh, else that you like. Some botanic botanical pictures maybe. Or take your uh, pen and write some names and numbers and maybe decorate it that way. Here I'm layering one uh, little label onto my watercolor paper that I have eco dyed. I'm using book binding glue to keep it in place. This is just for decoration, so it's not uh, the names of the dragonfly or something like that. Just some random numbers and uh, beautiful labels. As you can see, I'm a bit allergic to this... Uh, corners. I want to have them soft and nice. For this one I'm going to have three different labels. Plus a bit more space to put it in so we're going for three but that's totally up to you you don't have to have none or you can have uh, more different like that and now we have a couple of pockets you can also sew if you want around these uh, small labels and around the edges on of the pockets. Make it look a little bit more worked. That's always nice. Thank you and uh, I'll be back.